What up kids and skids, Big Daddy Vitamin G back in action with another Neo Nectar deck profile. Did you say Vitamin G? Yeah, it's my rapper name, Big Daddy Vitamin G. <laughs> so, we're doing BTO, BTO8 came out recently, so we're just going to do the update. We are still running Peach Orchard Made in Elmi because it hasn't stopped being a great card. Free cloning, bouncing for rebloom. Need I say more? Still Asha, so we're still running four copies of our Redentless Flower Maiden Asha. It's a great grade three main of the deck. Still an Asha deck, run four. Um, next we're running, the, next ch the first change is four Summer's Height Flower Maiden Maruka, which uh, works in tandem with a, a grade two. It makes really like funny combos. It's a nice card. It's um, nice for control decks because on Vanguard, GB1 Soul Blast 1, whenever a rear guard is targeted with an ability by an op opponent's effect, you can draw a card and, you know, Kagura retire something, okay, Soul Blast 1 draw. And on Vanner Rear, whenever uh, she or the grade 2 she works with is placed on rear, um, pi uh, Bloom, pick a card, it gets 3k. And um, if the card you pick gets 3 is um, Sunflower. Um, Sun Wheel Maiden Rowney, uh, it gets the ability on hit draw and soul charge, which is kind of nice. It works with her GB1. It makes some pretty funny plays, so I like running her. She's a nice uh, card that came out of the set. Still running four copies of uh, Ideal Maiden Thuria. It's one of the best cards. It can trigger any bloom ability. It, its name counts as anything. It's a great card. Run four of it. Next is the grade 2 I talked about with Mariuka, 4 Sunwheel Maiden Rowney, who is GB1, whenever a Rowney is called for- so Bloom, all copies of Rowney or Mariuka, so they work with each other, gain uh, the ability, this unit gets 1k for each rearguard you have with Bloom, which stacks. So let's say you have um, Rowney, call Rowney, Bloom, they each get like, 1k for each Bloom unit, so 2, 2, they each gain 2, call again, both of these trigger all of them, gain one for each bloom, so this gains three and this gains six because they their bloom ability triggered off of each other. So she's a really nice card and the replacement for Gladiolus. And I'm still running four copies of Green Shot Elf because it's still a great card. It's a grade two that can boost. So yeah, four of it. Next, the grade one lineups are actually unchanged. So four bloom PG because it's a another bloom card four copies of the stride fodder including two signed ones searches for asha and four copies of pure maiden katrina which is whenever katrina is placed bloom all katrinas get 4k uh trigger lineup is now four stand cosmos pixie lisbeth which is a great card it's bloom uh, all this best gain the ability. Move this unit to the uh, bottom or top. Um, put shuffle it into the deck. Pick um one uh, grade one or higher from your drop zone. Take up to four copies of that card. Shuffle them into your deck, and then you get to draw a card. So it's nice for plussing. It's nice for putting stuff back into the deck. It's a good card. I'm running four copies of the Heal Maiden of Evolvis. I'm running this one because I also have a Maiden Of deck and I'm lazy, so whenever I'm swapping between Asha and uh, Maiden Ofs, I don't want to have to do more effort than I need to. So this is literally just me being lazy. You mean a vulva? Gross. Alright. Um, we're going four copies of Mylas, which is the Heart Thumb clone. It's an Asha deck, Asha plus five. And then four copies of Maiden of Zephyranthes, who, like a Volvis, I don't want to um, swap between Maiden Ofs, but it also has an ability, it's moving to still give a card 3k. It's a trigger with a skill, you rarely use it, but when you use it, it's not bad. Um, onto the G-Zone, running four copies of uh, Maiden, Renun Dream Spinning Ranunculus Asha, 1SP. It's still Ranunculus deck, it's still a great card. Still running at four. We're still going two copies of Renunculus and Glorious Bloom Asha, who's still another amazing card because she uh, she can get crits now. She can get crits. She can give giant power bonuses. She's a really nice card. 
running two copies. Now we're only running two copies of uh, Verano. Um, she's just still a nice card, but I only run two because I still prefer running uh, two Ashas. But her ability is nice because she's the only card in this deck that can let you put triggers back. So I like her. She's a good card. Next, the uh, from BTO8 is the Flower Princess of Balmy Breeze Ilmenar, which is GB2, Counterblast 1, flip up a copy of Ilmenar. Um, choose one rear guard. And if that card is the Bloom ability, you get to draw, and every copy of that card on your field gains the ability on hit, draw a card, and if you have three Bloom rear guards, she gets a crit. So, she's another card that can gain crits. She has a pretty nice ability because she can give you resources, and yeah, I like her. But when um, the character booster runs out, I'm probably going to replace her with um, In Inverno. Inverno, yeah, because that's another nice card, and it, it means I can run all the fl seasonal flower princesses. Uh, the last real G uh, stride unit is uh, Primavera. She's great with Bloom. Uh, she can help 128k columns exist. She's insane. Um, on to the G guards. We're still running two copies of uh, Rain Breath, because Rain Breath is still a great card. It's when you G-Guard, call a card from hand, give it resist, Rain Breath gains five, so it's nice defensively. If you're playing control and you lose your field, it gives you your, it gives you cards that you can clone, so she's nice. We're running one copy of uh, Flower Princess of Autumn Scenery, Verna, which is another nice card. It's pick, uh, when you guard, pick a rear guard, for each copy, other copy of that rear guard, she gains 5k. So basically, if your field has 4 copies of Katrina and you G-guard, pick Katrina, 5, 10, 15, it's a 30k G-guard. So it, it, it's why I don't run um, Screw You, because um, it, it honestly is a lot better, because you don't have to discard it, it can get even bigger, so it's nice. Only running one Dismal, because now that I'm... Um, we have another card instead of green shot with bloom that can be in the front row in the form of rowney protecting rear guards isn't permanently isn't hypercritical especially when you can have the defense from Verna. so i really only find one dismal necessary and it's a g deck so sea breeze and uh that's it i hope you enjoyed it as always i hope if you um needed help with the neo deck to deck profile that this helps you out um Thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, like us on Facebook, watch our podcast, and uh, keep it classy.